and I think what happened was when it actually became dislocated is when I hit the ground and kind of was drugged into the ground. So uh, I tried to get up, put both my hands down, and really only could push up off of one. And I knew right then, like, ah, oh, man, it's worse than what it was before. Ran off the field, took my shoulder pads off, which took me a while to do, and looked in the mirror. I said, oh, man, that's, that's it. Going to need a little surgery on this guy. What did it look like? Um, it looked like if I was just to put my arm back like that, that's what it looked like. My shoulder was down, still kind of swollen back here. Big old knot on the back, so. You just dislocated, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ever had any shoulder problems before? Nah, I'm never. I mean, really, I'm, I've never had really any injuries. Uh, last year, the, the high ankle sprain was probably the worst injury I've ever had in my career until now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been a pretty healthy kid. You know, made it this far since you know, little league to all the way now. Never really having an injury, so it's just, it's truly a blessing. You having surgery? Tomorrow? Yeah, surgery tomorrow morning. In Champaign. In Champaign. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Just in, in, for it to happen middle of the senior year. Just what, what emotions yeah. were running through you? Um, you know, it was, it was really tough. It was really, really tough for me. Uh, I came in, uh, and then I'm not gonna lie, I cried. You know, I knew like you know this this is not looking good. You know, it's tough and. Uh, but lately, you know, I've just really thought about the bigger picture and thought about that, you know, it's it, it happened it happened for a reason, you know, and, and this kind of thing is, um, you know, I'm a firm believer in my faith that, you know, this this happened to to someone that, you know, that can go through it, and I definitely feel like I'm I'm the guy that can get through it and and, and see the positives in this type of situation. Uh, of course, you don't want this to happen, but you know, it's here now, and I got to accept it and, and continue to be the person I am. Is there a timetable for how long you might be sidelined at all? Um, or I when think, you can start rehab? Yeah, I think I can probably start rehab. I want to say like four months, four or five months, I can be, you know, back to moving around and getting mobility back. But as far as, I mean, I think as soon as I get the surgery, then I'm just ice, and I guess that starts the rehab process, you know, in two days, two, three days. So. I guess it's the goal to be back for pro day in March. Yeah, of course. Of course, you know, I'm never, you can't give up on your dreams until the dreams aren't there, you know, and, and that dream's not leaving anytime soon. So I definitely feel like, you know, that's the goal now, just rehab and get healthy and, and, and get smarter about the game while I can't run around and catch balls and stuff. What are you trying to do for the team now? What can you do? Really really just, you know, help anybody out, you know, encourage and, and just put what I knew in, into, you know, our receiving core. And I try to help out, you know, the younger guys because, you know, uh, we are a young group at receiving. Once, once, you know, these seniors are gone, you know, we really don't have a lot of guys that have had uh, a lot of playing experience. So, uh, you know, I'm just doing doing my part to learn the game in a different aspect, you know, from a coach's aspect and, and give back and, and help guys out. I think Nate learned from us that you had the injury. Just mm -hmm. what was your talks with him and mm -hmm. guys like Steve? And yeah, you know, they're just, you know, telling me just stay positive. And um, the biggest thing for them, I'm just telling them because like, we're, I'm all right, you know. Don't worry about me. Like, I'm okay. You know, I'm not dead. I'm walking. <laughs> and, like, surgery's going to go well, you know. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I would love to be out there, but don't focus on me. You know, we still got a season ahead of us. We still got opportunity to go to a bowl game, be in a, a great bowl game. So don't worry about me. I'm fine. Spencer's kind of stepped up these these last two weeks. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anything out of that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I, I wouldn't say different. I mean, Spencer's doing doing his thing. Uh, I think uh, the same the same thing that, that kind of happened to me a couple years ago when, when AJ went down the spring. Someone else had to fill the void, and, and I think that's really what's going on. Guys have accepted the fact that, okay, you know, Link's a little shaken up. He's probably not going to be around here. So, you know, he's got to make plays. So that's the biggest thing.